Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about ECMO because you've probably been hearing about it in your ACLS class. Now ECMO stands for Extracorporeal Membrane Oxygenation. Uh, corporal is just Latin for body, so extracorporeal means occurring outside the body. Outside the body, membrane oxygenation. And when you look at an ECMO machine, what you're really looking at is a pair of lungs. That's what the ECMO machine does. I can take blood from a human, send it to this ECMO machine, the ECMO machine will put oxygen in that blood, it will remove the CO2, and I can return that oxygenated clean blood back to the body. Now, there's two types of ECMO, VV ECMO and VA ECMO. Now, far and away, most common is VV ECMO. And this was really developed back in the 1950s, and it gained a lot of popularity in the 1970s using VV ECMO on newborns. Remember, this ECMO machine is essentially a pair of lungs. Now, the last thing that gets developed on a human being before we're delivered and spat out into the universe is our lungs. So we would have these premature babies being born that had poor lung function. Their lungs weren't developed. Okay, we could put them on ECMO, take the blood out of a vein, oxygenate it, put it back into a vein, and as long as that neonate had a, had a working heart, we're bypassing the lungs. Was this technique successful? Yeah, survival went from 20% almost up to 80%. So ECMO was a wonderful, viable option uh, for brand new neonates with poor lung function. Now, VV ECMO, remember, is just replacing their lungs. So fast forward today, we can use VV ECMO for ARDS patients. Anytime you have respiratory failure where we think we can fix the underlying pulmonary issue, we can put the patient on ECMO, give the lungs a break, let the lungs heal, wean them off the ECMO, reintroduce the patient's own native pulmonary function, and save that patient. And that's VV ECMO. Okay, the second type of ECMO, VA ECMO. In this case, we're going from venous back to an artery. So we're taking the blood from a vein, sending it to the machine, getting it oxygenated and cleaned, then we're returning it to a patient's artery and we're doing it under pressure, thus providing the patient with some hemodynamic support. And that's really what we're gonna be using ECMO for as it relates to ACLS. Now, not a lot of guidelines for use. The science is still kind of new. There are uh, facilities out there that are starting to write guidelines for use of ECMO, and the AHA is looking at these, uh, but we don't have any firm criteria for ECMO use yet. Here's where we're at. If you think you can identify an underlying cause that's reversible, then ECMO would be appropriate. Now, what's this gonna require? Man, you're gonna to have to have an ECMO machine and an ECMO team, Johnny on the spot, ready to go. Probably in the future, we're gonna have ECMO alerts the same way that we have stroke alerts or heart alerts. This means we're coming in with an arrest, it's not going well, we think we might know what the underlying problem is, and if we can get them on ECMO, we can buy ourselves some time to fix that underlying issue and return the patient's own native function. That's ECMO. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.